hello! I thought I'd start making a regular studio update video maybe once a month and speaking of which how is it February already? I don't know where January went it has just gone like that. How's the year been going for you? Is it the same? Does it feel like it's going really quickly? Before we know it it'll be Christmas again. No! <laughs> So I am still trying to get used to my new schedule of uploading only one video a week and I don't know that I like it very much. I feel like I want to be uploading more content than I'm doing at the moment so I need to find this happy medium. One a week maybe is not quite enough for what I want to do because I have so many ideas and so many videos to make and just not enough time to do them but I also don't want to have to go back to doing two a week every single week so I think there's going to be some weeks where I might do two videos and then other weeks where I just do one other YouTube news is that they are finally monetizing shorts videos which is what I am hoping to do a lot more of this year because those are quite fun to do. I just uploaded one recently and I hope that one's done okay. January was a terrible month for revenue. It's one of the worst months I've had in a very long time. I did pretty well in November, December of 22, but yeah, the start of this year has been horrendous, probably also because I took half of the month off, so I can't really blame YouTube so much as for myself. But that's the only trouble when you take time off is that the revenue will drop pretty quickly. And I don't just do this for money, obviously, because I would have given up a long time ago, but it is nice to get a regular paycheck Check. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go with the shorts yet because it's like a totally different format and it's only a minute that you're allowed. It's got to be within 60 seconds. But I do sometimes have ideas that I just want to convey in such a short amount of time rather than having to make an entire video. So I'm hoping to kind of make little shorts videos that are either related to larger videos or they are just their own little concept. I've not really got any plans for them so we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to also add them as Instagram Reels. So if you're not following me on Instagram I'd appreciate a follow over there. I haven't been very active on it I have to admit. I'm hoping to start getting back into it this year. Sometimes social media just takes over your life and I just needed a break from all of it so I haven't done very much but I'm slowly getting back into it. So Nick and his father both had their birthdays in January. They're a day apart and we had a little bit of a cake for them. And during January, Nick and I have booked tickets to go overseas. Yay! All things going to plan. We are going to Greece for a month in May and coming back early June. Nick really wants to see his grandmother. She just turned 92 and we really want to get there and see her again. He's got some other family members there and he knows people who are dotted around Greece. So we're slowly working out our plans as to what we want to do. Hopefully some islands in there. The Ionian Islands on the west side of the country. I really want to go to Corfu so I'm hoping we'll get there. <laughs> we haven't booked anything yet other than the plane tickets so that's something that we're working on. We'll probably book a car and maybe one or two hotels to begin with and then we usually just book things as we go around because it's much easier than just trying to plan every single thing but a month should be a long enough time. The cats are going to have to go to the cattery but they're usually okay there. They've been there before a few times. The cattery people are lovely and they take good care of them. Traveling these days is so much harder than it used to be especially since the pandemic hit and it just makes everything a lot scarier but I'll deal with it and we'll get there hopefully have a good time. But I thought thought today I'd show you briefly what I did with all of those marker pens that Artex sent me because I've just got them everywhere and I pulled them all out of the boxes. I got rid of that big box that they were in which was great. I think I mentioned that last time and I have yet to make a video on them. It is going to happen. I'm just not too sure when. So I have three of these bags here that are full of spare markers. These are all the doubles and triples that came out of the box sets that I had. I went through every single box coloured out the swatch charts and then if I had doubles I put them into these bags. So I have quite a lot of spare ones. I think I might actually just hold on to them for now because I can't buy the Artex markers as singles I don't think if I need to replace any so I may as well use the spares if I run out of any colours. I'm not sure if every single marker that I ended up with has a spare but there are plenty of them that do, sometimes more than one. So we've got one bag here, another couple of bags and this one too and I'm still not sure where to put them they've just kind of been sitting in a pile in one corner of my studio I really need to find a home for those and then I have a stack of all the markers that I'm intending to use as a set 
I put them all into these cases because Artex did not have the nice big case for all the markers like I think Ohuhu does, you know they had that really big black case, so I had to find something else. These ones are by Jazzart, which is an Australian company. They have really sticky velcro on them, this is going to make a big noise. God, I hate that sound. <laughs> but they're basically fold out marker wallets and it's keeping them all nice and contained and I can see all the different colors on there. Artex also do not put the names of the colors on there so I don't even know what they are. The only thing that has the names on them are the little swatch charts that come in the packets. Those have names on them, but otherwise that's it. And I have thought about actually writing the names on the pens, but I don't really want to make a huge mess, so I just hope I don't lose these. It just wants to focus on my face, it's really annoying, it won't focus on this. The ones that are coloured in are the single colours that weren't in any other sets, and any that are blank I found doubles for in other sets. So. I hope that makes sense, I don't even know if I'm explaining that right because what I did was I went with the largest set that I had which was an 80 set and coloured them all in. Quite a few of them on here were in some of the smaller sets and that's why I have doubles. So I went through and found all the ones that weren't in the 80 set and those are the ones that are coloured in. Yay, I think I finally explained that. So I pretty much sorted the colours this smaller one I've got the 36 set of skin tones because this holds 36 pens and then in the larger ones I think they hold 48 or something like that each. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> these things are huge but as you can see I have arranged them all beautifully in colour groups. This is yellows, oranges, browns and skin tones greens, blues and greys, reds, pinks and purples. What I noticed is that I have a lot of pinky colours as well as skin tones and browns, quite a lot of greens but not that many blues so if I wanted to supplement with maybe, I don't know if Artex even have a lot of blues but even just some other brush markers I would go out and get maybe a few extra blue colours just to make sure this is a really full set but otherwise there's plenty of colours in there and I really like them, they're very nice brush markers and hopefully soon I will make a video on those. I did colour in one page with them, there we go. I'm just not very confident with them so I need to have more practice colouring in with marker pens. Otherwise there's not much else to report for this month, I'm kind of in sketchbook limbo, I finished that big sketchbook that I did and I have a flip through video of that which I did in January. I don't know which book to go on to next. I've got quite a few there which I've either just started or haven't started and I really don't know which one to use so I kind of haven't been doing much at all when it comes to sketching and I'd like to get back into it. Anyway that's about all I've got for today, just a little check in, hopefully I'll try and get this done most months if I've got something exciting to talk about and even if I don't. If you haven't seen my sketchbook video yet then here's a flip through of it here. I will see you all again really soon in my next video. Have a great day out there and I'll swatch you later. Bye!